Fungi have complex life cycles consisting of asexual and sexual reproductive phases. Here, we examine the life cycle of the black bread mold, Rhizopus stolonifer. The black speckles that Rhizopus produces on bread are capsules called sporangia that the fungus produces through asexual reproduction. The fungus consists of a network of filaments called hyphae that penetrate the bread and absorb nutrients. During asexual reproduction, spore-filled sporangia develop at the tops of stalk-like hyphae. The sporangia and hyphae are haploid. Sporangia break open and their haploid spores disseminate. Spores travel by air to other locations and may land on suitable food sources such as a flaky croissant. A spore germinates and sends an elongated hypha into the croissant to absorb nutrients. As it develops, the new haploid fungus can produce more sporangia, initiating additional cycles of asexual reproduction. In addition to asexual reproduction, the fungus may initiate sexual reproduction. Although Rhizopus does not have two distinct sexes, it does have two distinct mating types, designated plus and minus. They reproduce sexually when adjacent hyphae of the two types release pheromones. The pheromones trigger the hyphae to grow side branches. Note that Rhizopus generally lacks cross walls between its nuclei, and most nuclei share a common cytoplasm. As the side branches grow, nuclei stream in. A cross wall forms near the end of each branch, isolating several haploid nuclei at the ends. The nuclei are now isolated in sexual structures called gametangia. These gametangia fuse and the nuclei inside pair up. The pairs of nuclei eventually fuse as well and the entire multinucleate structure becomes a zygosporangium. The zygosporangium develops a thick, tough wall and can remain dormant for months. The diploid nuclei within the zygosporangium then undergo meiosis and a sporangium sprouts. The sporangium contains the products of meiosis, haploid nuclei that are incorporated into spores. When the sporangium opens, these spores will disperse and germinate to form the next generation of haploid hyphae.